Hey guys, this is Eric Martina. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dummy round. Uh, why would you make a dummy round? Well, you know, you can send it to your gunsmith so they can set up uh, your free bore for a specific bullet. Or you can send it to your reamer maker so they can make you a reamer that would work for a, uh, again, a specific bullet or a, <clears throat> or a range of bullets. Um, okay, so uh, this is a loaded round. This is a 24 Shahane loaded with 180 grain CNR L. Uh, we're going to go through what it takes to uh, make a dummy round, and it's actually pretty simple. Let me, uh, let me show you. Okay, uh, first of all, we need a piece of brass, you know, scrap or one that you're willing to sacrifice. This one has been uh, fire formed uh, in a Shaheen chamber and it has been trimmed and prepped just like every other piece of brass that I use for uh, match shooting. Um, notice the uh, primer strike, so this is a dead primer. That's what you want to use on your dummy round. So now, um, what we can do, what I like to do, is I take a, I take a Dremel tool and I just cut a, a small slit down the side of the neck, like this. That's all it takes. Then, you can see that right there. I take a, uh, you know, small screwdriver or something, because there's a bird left in there. Just knock it, knock it off. And then, what I like to do, I take a sharpie and color the side of the case like this. Just the shoulder neck junction I don't know if you can see that just on each side of the the slit that we just cut then I take a scribe and put a line right at the neck shoulder junction Now we can see it real well. Now you can uh, take a sharpie and color a bullet. I actually did this with layout dye, but you know you get the idea. Just color the entire bullet. <clears throat> and take some uh, sandpaper and lay it on a flat surface. Hold the bullet on its side and just move it back and forth what that's going to do it's going to reveal your bearing surface you can see it right there now all you do is insert the case the, the bullet into the case and slide it down until the bottom of the bearing surface meets up with a line that we scribed on the case and now that is your that is <clears throat> now this the the bullet heel is right at the shoulder neck junction on your case at this point you need to measure it and you need to be careful because it's not on the real tight. Measure base to uh hole drive. I'm getting twenty three fifty nine and a half, so we can call that twenty three sixty. Two point three sixty. Okay. My calipers were zeroed on the on the uh, comparator so that's an absolute value that we're getting so 
2358 I'm getting now, but that bullet can move. So let's just call it 2360. So we, we have 2.360, but remember, we need to give ourselves some room to, um, to be able to jump the bullet if we have to. And also, we need to give ourselves some room from this junction to the heel of the bullet. So, so I like to give myself about, you know, 20 to 30 thousandths from the heel of the bullet to the uh, shoulder neck junction. Plus, I want to give myself another 30 thousandths or so, so I can, so I can jump the bullet. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, 30 thousandths plus 20, that's 50 thousandths. So we can add that to the 2.360 measurement that we got. So, if we add, you know, just do it right here, 2.360, and we add 50 thousandths, we end up with 2.410. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. 2.410. That's your base to ogive measurement. Next, now that we know our measurement of 2.410, we take another piece of brass, again, with a dead primer, and we take a bullet, and we seat it to the dimension that we came up with. What I like to do before I do that, I like to makes a little bit of uh, epoxy. This is five minute epoxy. And I use these uh, empty primer uh, crates. So, you know, you can save them, use them for mixing epoxy or just different things. I use them for that. It, this is uh, DevCon five minute epoxy, fast drawing. I use that, then I use some of this. It's a two part, so you have to mix it. Okay, so just put two equal amounts on that. And then to mix it, I just take a Q-tip, cut the end of it, and then I mix it. mix it real good okay that should be good enough okay at this point you take some of this epoxy and you apply it inside the neck like that okay Take your cedar die and back it off. Just back it off a bunch. Because you don't want to go too deep on the first the first time you seed it, so make sure you have enough room. In. Okay. We're at 2.478, so we need to come down 68 thousandths. So I have a micrometer die, so that's easy for me to do. 10, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 68. There you have it. If you can see that. 2410. So that's the dummy round. There it is. There's the round that you would send to your um, reamer maker or gunsmith so they can set up the, your chamber for a particular bullet. 
Um, that's all it takes. Just wait for it to dry. The purpose of the epoxy is so it stays in place. You don't want it to shift during shipping or uh, when your uh, gunsmith is trying to set up your chamber. They have to put it in the chamber to measure and if uh, if it moves on them they're gonna have a hard time getting you what you want. So anyway that's it. That's all it takes to uh, make a dummy round. Again this is a 284 Shahane with a 180 uh, Lapua Cinar L. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions post comments or uh, and if you like it give me some thumbs up. Thank you and uh, Happy New Year.